Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited because I've been wanting to get my hands on this product for what seems like forever now. It is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and we are going to be doing a review on this puppy right here. I got this for $8.99 at CVS. Um, it is also at Target and I believe it's at Walmart, but I find around me especially the best place to get any kind of Milani product is at CVS. Everywhere else it's a little sparse. So that is where I got this foundation. We are going to be doing a couple different things today so I am going to first use a primer and then we are going to use a real technique sponge which is my preferred tool right now to apply foundation to apply this on one side of our face and then we are going to use a Sigma flat top um, like kabuki brush yeah it's a flat kabuki brush on the other half of our face because I want to see how it applies with the brush and then I also want to see how it applies with my sponge um, just to get an idea of the blendability and then we are going to wear it throughout the day and I'm going to come back and update you it is a little bit later in the day but it's a Friday afternoon so I know that I will be wearing this later so my check-ins might be kind of late at night but I'm still planning to go out and Tim and I are going to dinner and some things like that so I'll be out and about and wearing this and testing it for you guys so the claims for this foundation are it is supposed to be medium to full coverage, it's supposed to feel very lightweight, and it is an oil-free formula. It's long wearing, water resistant, and sweat proof, which are very bold claims for a foundation like this. I'm very excited to see what the coverage is like. I honestly haven't seen any reviews on this foundation. I know there have been some that have been done, but I wanted to form my own opinion on it. So the shade that I have today is in 03 Light Beige. They did not have the shade 02, but I do think this is a really good, gonna be a really good match for my skin tone. It might be slightly dark, but we'll blend it down the neck. Um, I wanted to get the number shade number two and shade number three to blend them together in case I needed it. Shade number two was literally the only shade they didn't have. So, first thing, I'm just going to tuck my hair behind my ears here. I got it dyed today, by the way, um, so it's a little bit darker than it normally is. Um, we do a demi-permanent just to kind of cover up where my blonde is pulling through. So, anyway, this foundation does have a pump, which is awesome. But, first things first, I want to apply my primer. This is what I apply under all my foundation, so I feel like it's only fair if I apply it under this foundation. I'm using my Gorgeous Cosmetics First Base Primer. You guys know I love this stuff. Like, love it, love it, love it. Like, I'm just gonna blend this guy in and I already have all my eye makeup done. Whoa, I just got all this in my hair. Really, Abby? But I actually, I had done my eye makeup and um, my face makeup and I went to get my hair done and you know how when they wash it, it kind of fades all around the edges and I was like, well, you know what? Now's the perfect time to film my review of the Milani Foundation because I need to redo my foundation anyway before tonight. So, this works out great. Okay, primer is on. Feels really good. I love that primer so much. It's not tacky, it's not sticky, but it's not slippery. It just kind of makes your pores vanish and look really nice. So, let's do this thing. So I have my Damp Real Technique sponge. I'm gonna take a pump of this on the back of my hand. Ooh, all right. And I'm just gonna pick this up with my Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna dot it on this half my face and you can see I have a really big blemish on this half so I'm wondering how the coverage is going to be and I'm just going to start blending it out wow I can already tell that the coverage is going to be really good just curious as to how it blends, oh it's actually a perfect match for my skin tone I'm really curious as to um, wow look at that coverage <gasps> do you guys see that right now Oh my, oh my gosh. I am so impressed with the coverage right now. I don't even feel like I need to add much more. Just a little bit more to the center of my forehead, but usually I would add a little bit more here. I don't feel like I have to, but I'm going to, where I get a little bit red. But do you guys see that? And it's not super flat looking. I don't believe it's supposed to be a matte foundation. Although the finish isn't on here, is it? Medium full coverage, lightweight, oil free. Apply a giant size amount of product with fingertips or brush, beginning center face blending outward. Use a small amount of product to apply where additional coverage is needed as a concealer. Okay, so I guess I should do that, right? I'll pick this up with the flat end now because it says I don't, it's supposed to be concealer too, right? So actually it does a pretty good job. I am impressed. And I'm really impressed with how it blended with this sponge. So overall, feeling really good about the application of this. Back on the ears a little, down the neck. 
Look at the coverage difference from here to here. Pretty good shade match. Really loving the way that this looks in my mirror. Like, obsessed with it. Let me just zoom you guys in really quick. Okay, can you guys see just how kind of, you can see like my uneven skin tone over here and then just how flawless this side looks. My pores kind of vanished. I like can't even really see them in my mirror. Hmm, I'm so impressed. All right, I think I'm gonna stay up this close so you can see how it applies with the foundation brush. So I'm just gonna take the product onto the stippling brush and I'm just gonna, oh my God, do you see that just like pretty much disappear? I'm just gonna stipple this on my face and then I'm gonna go back through and buff it out like I normally would. It does a pretty good job covering that right away, but I can already tell the coverage is not as full with this as it is with my beauty blender just right away. And I know I added a little bit more, so I'm going to do that. It definitely has like spread it out a little bit more. Um, and it's not like patchy is not the right word, but it's not definitely not near as full coverage as this side was on my first layer. So just gonna literally take just like a dab more for right here and I'm gonna take it up under my eye too and I'm gonna just kinda dab under my eye up on my nose really it's pretty well concealed those blemishes you really can't see them very well Okay, so I am super loving the way that this looks on my skin right now. I prefer the way that the Real Techniques sponge applied it than the brush, but they are pretty evenly matched in terms of coverage. Um, it's not streaky either way. Both my pores pretty well vanished for both sides. So um, what I want to do is finish up my face, and then I'm going to come back and we will do some initial thoughts, and then I will test it throughout the day. I am going to do a little bit of baking, but I'm not going to add any other concealer. I am insanely impressed with the coverage of this right now. It's like blowing my mind. It's just really really good like and it's such a good match for my skin tone oh I love it okay I'm gonna go do my face So now my face is done and I am going to be a little bit bold here and say that for first impressions this is one of the most full coverage, most beautiful foundations right away. It looks really stunning on the skin. My pores don't exist, like they're just not there. It's not soaking into any lines and wrinkles. I don't feel like I needed extra concealer. Um, my skin looks incredible incredibly smooth, like just so smooth and even the coverage is just phenomenal. Honestly, first thoughts are that I love everything about this foundation. I hope it doesn't oxidize, I hope it doesn't patch off, I hope it doesn't flake off. If it doesn't, this could be one of my all-time favorite foundations. This is maybe the fullest coverage foundation I have ever used. I mean, this is, this seems more full coverage than my Makeup Forever Stick Foundation and I'm looking in the mirror here just to make sure, I mean, this is like my favorite way my skin has looked, if I didn't have the stupid pimple, in a very long time. Like, I mean, I, I'm like floored a little bit. Like, I really didn't expect it to be this good. Like, I thought it was going to be pretty good because I really like Milani and I like their full coverage cream, like in the compact, but I did not expect this. I mean, like, it's not patchy. It's so evenly blended. All my face products applied like a dream, like they blended, it's not like it, it got stuck or it made the foundation patchy, like everything on it looks really good, like really, my face looks 
flawless right now. Like, just my actual skin looks really, really, really good. I'm very excited to see how this wears now. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it wears really well and that it can be one of my new favorite foundations because, holy cow, I mean, do you see the coverage on this? And just, like, how... I just need you to see this in person. Like, do you see how flawless this looks? Like, my skin, it feels like it looks, it doesn't make sense, but it looks like porcelain to me. Like, it just looks really good. Really good. Like, even, it doesn't even look like cake face. Like, it doesn't look really heavy at all. It feels really lightweight. I don't feel it yet. Now that could change throughout the day and that's why we're going to test it. So I'm going to go ahead on with my day and I have some unpacking to do. I'm going to continue watching Quantico while I work because I'm so addicted to that show. Oh my gosh, it's so good. And we're going to test out the lasting power of this foundation. I cannot wait to see how this thing works. So yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, so here's my first check-in. So um, Tim and I have actually been gone for a long time. I put this makeup on at four today and I have been gone and it is nine, I think. Nine, 10, yeah. So we'll take a little look at it. Um, so you can kind of see my pores a little bit with it. And I'm kind of getting like a little bit of oil coming through. But it's actually not that oily. I think it looks worse like in that light. Maybe it's better over here. It looks worse in that light than it actually does in person. Um, but it's everything, nothing's patchy. This has definitely like needs some concealer, but I'm like dying to actually pop it. I know that's bad and put concealer on it, which I'm gonna do here. But overall, this foundation has stayed so well. It's not patchy. It still feels incredibly lightweight, non-greasy. Um, we've been gone, I mean, I've had this on for five hours now and we've been out of the house. I've been out of the house for four of them and kind of walking around, we went to dinner. I was like leaning on it. Um, it doesn't transfer, which is really nice, like on my phone or anything like that. And um, so far, I still really, really, really like it. I don't feel like I need to powder. I know. Like that light looks a little different than this light, but it looks shinier on this camera than it is. Like I don't actually feel like I need to powder, but I do want to take care of this. I just gotta squeeze it because it's re it's ready, it's ripe, it's got like a white head. I'm gonna put concealer on it and I'm gonna keep wearing this and then I'll check in in front of my light so that we can see like what it looks like in comparison to what it looked like, what it looked like at the beginning versus now. How does my face look? Face? You want to be in it? No, I'm going to be all oily. My foundation wore off hours ago. <laughs> okay, so that is my check-in so far. I'm still really, really liking it. And it still feels super lightweight. And all my other makeup is, is on and stayed on top of it really well without it being patchy or anything. So I'll see you guys for my final thoughts and check-in at the end of the night. Okay, guys, so I'm here for my final check-in and thoughts. And, um... I don't really know at the end of the day. I've got some really mixed reviews on it and I want to test it out a little bit more. So basically, here are the main points. I did end up putting a little bit more down here and I powdered it all, but I was kind of touching it and so my blemishes did show through. So that didn't stay very well there. Um, I can tell you that it really came off my nose right here and it's starting to come off on this side. Um, not so much my left side, but my right side, it's definitely starting to come off. Um, everything else, it doesn't look bad, but it's definitely starting to, not like melt off isn't the right way, but it's starting to move. It has been seven hours of wear, so I've obviously, I've been wearing this foundation for a long time. Um, I think it is long lasting. Like I said, I just powdered once. Um, everything else, it's not patchy at all. It literally has just started to come off only really right around my nose. I still really like the way this foundation looks, but I did notice right about around the um, four hour mark, it started to kind of settle into my pores just a little bit. Just the ones around my nose, and on my forehead and it just kind of like sunk into them so you can see them more and it's definitely a difference than when I first applied it so it definitely looks a little bit different from far away you can't really tell but from up close like when I went and I looked in the bathroom mirror I could definitely see kind of all my pores in this area which is something that I didn't like um, and I am wearing a primer 
I do give this foundation a really positive rating for the amount of coverage and I do think that it is long wearing. Once I get to about 8 hours with a foundation that is still really good medium coverage and that's not patchy, I consider that to be long wearing. Um, it definitely feels incredibly lightweight. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing any foundation. It doesn't transfer. Um, it's not greasy. I didn't get excessively oily. For a full coverage foundation, this performed incredibly well. Um, I'm really excited to keep trying trying it. I'm a little concerned about it sinking into my pores a little bit, but I want to keep testing it out a little bit and just see how it does later. You can still see my face. I still think it looks really smooth and really even. The coverage still looks good, not patchy. Um, pretty positive reviews overall, and um, I think that if you're looking for a good, like, pretty full coverage foundation, I would say. Like, this is the most full coverage drugstore foundation I think I've ever used. Um, I think this would be really good. I, I mean, my under eyes I don't have any concealer and they aren't creasing at all. They still feel really smooth and good. Um, my blush, my bronzer, my highlight, everything has stayed pretty intact. It's just faded a little bit now that we're into like the seven, eight hour mark. But I expect that with kind of all my foundations. So overall, my rating with this foundation is probably an 8.5 or 9 out of 10. It's so comfortable. It just doesn't feel like I'm wearing makeup. Blends so well really lightweight, really full coverage, long wearing. Um, the only thing is the pores. And the color stayed the same. It didn't oxidize on my face. It didn't change color. It still is a really good match to my skin tone, which I love. So um, I definitely will be wearing this again and testing it out. And I'm really excited. You'll see this in upcoming videos for sure. I love the finish on my skin. It's not super matte, but it's not dewy. It's kind of like a really um, nice combination of the two. So yeah, those are my final thoughts on it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more reviews like this one. Have an amazing day, you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!